Okay, um, I need to make some holes in the breastplate. <coughs> Problem is, I don't have a normal hole punch, which is a vertical punch like that, that you hit with a hammer. What I can do, if it's just a basic hole, align whichever hole that you want with that end. And then you simply just turn it upside down and use the hammer to use that as a hole punch. It's, um, it's a quick fix if you haven't got a center hole punch yourself. Especially for odd shaped and large items like this. This is by no means any sort of random application. I'm trying I'm trying to use the streaks to help to highlight and define muscle tone on the breastplate. Unfortunately, this was just a, a cheaper piece of leather, and um, it was getting close to the belly area of the cow, so it's softer on one side than this on this side. And that's why you can see the little creases. When you get leather that's towards the belly of a cow, then you're getting the more thinner, softer, subtle, lightweight leather, and it's prone to creases. A bird is back that I spotted yesterday. Can you hear the high pitch whistle? And what I'm doing here is using cloth to actually create some um, highlights by wetting the cloth with the dye and then rubbing on the dye that's already been put on the leather. It kind of lifts a little bit of the dye off. Need to do the sides. Now remember, because I used um, a tripod, because I applied it in certain streaks, it gives me the idea of um, 
where I need to put the lines. Like here, the lines are horizontal, which is where the ribs would be. Here, it's vertical, which is basically where the fastening is going to be for the back. And I missed a little here. The streaks go horizontal to about there. On this side, they only go to about there. They should go a little bit further. But um, you get the idea. Show up. 